$53 for dinner and nothing was edible. That's the last time we listened to a skinny food critic. <laughs> Flowers, a fruit basket, our beds turned down. Hey, are we in the right house? <laughs> Please place your breakfast order outside door. Kelly is really bucking for that horse. Uh, she sure is. She weeded the lawn and cocked all the bathtubs. <laughs> How long do you think we can string this thing out? Honey, she's our daughter, not hired help. Yeah, I know. I guess you're right. So what do you want for breakfast? Blintzes or Belgian waffles? Molly, I really think we should get her the horse. Uh, I don't know. Well, honey, we've run out of excuses. How about we can't afford it? If we can afford your T-Bird and $50 dinners, we can afford a horse. Besides, she deserves it. She's a good student, she's an excellent rider, and she's very responsible. Let's say we get her a horse. Who's going to take care of it? She will. She loves grooming horses. She loves doing it when she doesn't have to. I'm afraid it was that the horse is going to turn into a pool table. Well, if we shop carefully, we should be able to tell the difference. Now, what I mean is, uh, every guy wants a pool table his whole life. And then he finally gets one. Man, he's down there in the basement racking and cracking every night for a, about a month. Then uh, he just sits there gathering dust. The only thing it's good for is folding laundry on. Honey, if I knew that it bothered you that much, I wouldn't have folded the laundry on. It's a bad analogy. I'd just like to see how committed Kelly is. Hey, how about if we lease her a horse and see how that goes? Molly, a horse is a pet. Would you rent a dog? I just want to make sure that Kelly knows what she's getting into, that's all. A horse needs daily attention and plenty of it. Hmm, strawberries are excellent. Okay. What if she works at the stables for a while to see how she handles it? That's a good idea. And yeah, then after five, six years... One but... month is fine. <laughs> Molly? Okay. Okay, you win. But uh, let's not tell her right away. I'm getting kind of used to these chocolates on my pillow. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Put your head through. I have dishes to do. I want Mom to dress me. I don't like your teeth. What's wrong with my taste? Everything matches. Well, my goodness, Kevin, don't you look nice? See? How was your breakfast? It was delicious, honey. Oh, great, I've never had fresh-squeezed cranberry juice before. You like it? Well, then it was six hours well spent. Can we see you in the living room? Sure, Mom. We appreciate your helping us around the house so much. Yeah, but a horse is a whole new level of responsibility. Yeah. Wallace! Mary Ellen? A child whose name escapes me? What do you want, Eddie? I was able to secure this mantle from the sucker over on Maple Street. We look perfect right there. Eddie, we don't want a new mantle. Yeah, I know, but I know a guy that wants yours. Do you mind? We're in the middle of a family discussion. You're always in the middle of a family discussion. Oh, Mr. Haskell, please. Well, I think my parents are trying to buy me a horse, and I don't mean to be rude, but you're wrecking it. Horse? The mother. Why don't you just let her hitchhike through Europe? <laughs> Look, honey, if, um, if you did have a horse, well, you know, it wouldn't be easy. I mean, uh, you'd have to keep your grades up, and you wouldn't have as much time for things like the telephone, boys, shopping. That's okay. I have all the sweaters I need. We just don't want you to get in over your head, so we thought it would be wise if you worked at the stables first. Yeah? Yeah, then after uh, a long time... One month. All right, one month. If you still thought you wanted a horse, then we'd get you one. You guys are the greatest! <laughs> than a United Way commercial. It's not going to be that easy getting me a job here, Grandma. The owner's one of those old guys who's always in a bad mood. Oh, Mrs. Cleaver, what a glorious surprise to see you off the golf course. It sure is a hole-in-one kind of day. Well, now, Wilton, please, you must call me June. All right. Around here, everybody calls me Doc. Except the horses. And they call me. <laughs> Doc? Yeah. You met my granddaughter, Kelly? Oh, no. I've seen her around, but I never made the connection. 
I must say, beauty surely runs in your family. Oh, that's most kind. <laughs> Grandma, ask him now. Um, Doc, you know, the reason I'm here is to try to get Kelly a job. Her parents have agreed to buy her a horse, but until they make that kind of an investment, they want to be sure that she can handle the responsibility. Oh, really? Well, that makes horse sense to me. <laughs> I've seen you ride, and you know your way around a barn. But I hope you're not afraid of hard work. No, sir. I'll wash, groom, feed, shovel, and I squeeze a mean cranberry. <laughs> well, there's not much call for that around here. But, oh, now the owner of this filly's looking for a groom. Why don't we go to dinner tonight and uh, discuss the possibility? I'd love to. No, I was talking to your grandma. Uh, she'd love to. Wouldn't you? All right, now. It's all set. I'll pick you up at 8, and I'll see you here every day right after school. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get to meet your new boss now. Dorsey, I want you to meet your new groom. Ah, yes. Little Kelly Cleaver. She'll do just fine. Discussion over. I'm watching the TV movie. I'll save you two hours. Jacqueline Smith gets the disease and dies a better person for it. Great. We'll watch what I want to watch. Female collegiate mud wrestling. I want the people at Telejury to think we have better taste than that. Really? Dad, these are students. These poor girls need our support. Absolutely not. Hey, why don't we compromise and watch the NBA game on the Superstation? Look, we'll do this like a democracy. One man, one vote. I vote mud wrestling. I vote basketball. You guys don't seem to understand. I'm the man. I got the vote. I, I want to watch the movie. That's female mud wrestling. You don't even like Jack. Two men. No, I want to watch it. Come I vote everybody. Come on. Come on. Here, babe. You sit. No, thanks, Eddie. Okay. But my grandfather always said, raise a wealth, raise a solid citizen. Come on, guys. Why don't you go upstairs and read a book? Read a book? I'd rather take the belt. Dad, come on, no, please, I have to see this. I think I see what your problem is. This telejury thing is disrupting your whole family. And for what? We got a free trash compactor. A free trash compactor? Ooh, lucky you. You deserve more out of this deal. Hey, there's got to be some big-time cigar chomper out in Hollywood that would reward you handsomely to watch that sludge they put on the air. We'll watch whatever sludge we want. I'm picking Kelly up at the stable. I'll be back in a minute. Wait a minute, Grandma. I'll go with you. This place is too democratic for me. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Cleaver. Uh, may I say that that's Eddie, lovely. I'm in a hurry. Anyway, you fly me out to Gentletown, a first class. 
I'll make a few deals on your behalf. We'll split the profits. We don't want any part of your sleazy deals. Look, you're going to be watching this garbage anyway. I say, why not get paid for it? Because it's dishonest. So, what's your point? everything to be perfect for Saturday's show. Yeah, take your time. Grandma's got a book. <laughs> Hi, Dorsey. You did this? I've been oiling it all day. You idiot! I wanted it polished. What's the difference? If you have to ask, maybe I should get another groom. Now strip it and do it over. <laughs> and while you're at it, must this stall. It smells. Or at least I think it's the stall. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. Wait, you lose your job. I'm young, I can start over. Kill, you want your own horse or not? Of course, but... Well, then stick it out. Look, you've only got a week to go, and then, if you really want to get her back, I've got a friend that works in the cafeteria. I guess you're right. Thanks, Holly. Do you want me to help you? Sure, I'll finish the saddle, and you can muck out the stall. Okay. Um, what exactly is muck? You'll figure it out. <laughs> opening round. Can you imagine? Those other girls must have paid off the judges. Did you notice any trouble getting the princess to jump? No. Well, nothing I can't handle. Her left leg's a little swollen. So? Don't you think we should have a vet look at it? Or at least Doc? What do you know about it? You're just jealous because you can't compete. Well, what I do know is that if she was my horse, I wouldn't risk hurting her forever just to win a dumb riding ribbon. Well, she's not your horse. She's my horse. Now mind your own business and get her ready for the final. Attention all junior riders. Please report to the West Spring for compulsory. Our next young participant is Dorsey Thomas, third after the qualifying round. She rides Princess, a six-year-old mare, by Taylor's Delight and Georgia Red. Oh. Doc Sanders from the stables. Huh. Still asking Mom to go on that golf tour to Switzerland? <laughs> no, he called to say he was sorry he had to fire Kelly today. Fire Kelly? Why? Well, it turns out that Dorsey's horse was hurt, and it was Kelly's fault. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Honey, you okay? Yeah. Hey, listen. We heard about what happened today. You want to talk about it? No, thanks. I'm going to go up to my room and develop some new interests. I hear stamp collecting's fun. Maybe I'll start a River Phoenix fan club. I'm so sorry. I know how much you wanted this. This really wasn't your fault. I think we put too much pressure on you. And I know you feel bad now. But remember, we love you. And you'll always be our little baby pumpkin rabbit here. <laughs> Okay, but uh, you can't let being fired stop you. Look at Billy Martin. <laughs> well, what I, what I mean is, uh, all you lost is a job. And a horse. Well, now let's look at that. We wanted you to work in the stables for a month, right? And I only lasted three weeks. Oh, but you didn't quit. Yeah, I was fired. Honey, we had you work at the stables to show us that you understood the responsibilities of owning a horse. If you care more for a horse than its owner does, then you're probably ready for one of your own. 
Well, maybe we should get a dog and see how that goes. Oh, <laughs> of course we're going to get you a horse. <laughs> got a cord for it. Ah, uh, we haven't seen it for a while, have we, Ali? No, no, not for weeks. Oh, well, it will turn up. Oh, but it's a little bit of 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 a little b